In terms of sheer aggression, you can't beat the Titans. They overthrew their parents, uh, Kronos castrating Uranus and, and basically overthrowing his parents. He dismembered his own dad, right? He'd give, been given a special sword and he'd lopped off his member and, uh, and overthrown his dad and he didn't want this to happen to him. So he thought the best way to do it would be to, um, you know, swallow his children. He eats all of his kids. Zeus gets pissed off, decides he's gonna overthrow him. This is the battle between the Olympians and the Titans. And this battle was, in mythological terms, basically World War I. The battle ebbs and flows, and, and the gods get the upper hand at one point, and the Titans have the upper hand at the other. The entire earth was shaking. Mountains were being torn up and thrown at each other. However, the Olympians were lucky because they had some secret weapons. Zeus was given possession of the lightning and the lightning bolts. And because they had the technology, the Olympians were able to crush the Titans. The Titans weren't killed, they were just kind of banished, so they always kind of stuck around brooding and, and being very angry. They're still down there. They're still down there rumbling in the basement, and there was always a possibility that they could once again rise up. Yes, the Titans are huge. Well, obviously the Titans are, uh, you know, they're massive. They seem to look a little prehistoric. The Titans are actually physically, a lot of them are bigger than the gods, at least when you go back and look at Greek mythology. Almost like structures and, and, and mountains come to life that, that sort of we felt would give the gods a good run for their money. They seem like the perfect group of allies for, uh, for Kratos to hook up with and sort of take his beef right to the doorstep of Mount Olympus. Who breaks my chains of torment? I love the moment where Kratos is talking to Atlas, and there's this history that both of them have. Atlas! And the player's able to kind of hit the button while they're interacting, and seeing just a tiny eye. Still the arrogant and foolish warrior. You have not changed. Atlas was a titan who was charged with holding up the world. He's holding up the flat world and he almost looks like he's forged into the, the bottom crust of the, of the earth. You dare show your face to me after what you have done? I was a little concerned when Corey said, oh, I want to use Michael Clark Duncan for Atlas because his voice is so distinct that I was just like, it's Michael Clark Duncan. I'm glad I held my tongue and let Corey kind of go with his gut because he's one of my favorite characters. Prometheus is this interesting character because he, he, he sacrifices himself for the sake of mortals. First he's a, a titan and he uh, assists Zeus in overthrowing the fellow titans, but then he gets on the bad side of Zeus when he steals the fire from the gods to warm these mortal creatures. Because of that, uh, Prometheus was bound to the top of a mountain and forced to have his liver eaten out by a giant eagle. And then every day he would heal, and the eagle would come back and eat his liver out again. It's pretty awesome. The gods were pretty messed up people. It's a great gory image, and it's also a great character revealing moment about Zeus, who sort of put him in this predicament and punished him in this way, because it just shows you what a bastard, you know, the gods are, and specifically Zeus is. Gaia! Gaia is the Earth. She's the quintessential Earth goddess, Earth Mother and she's around from the very earliest phases. She has a fondness for almost all of her children, even the ones that misbehave. I have watched you become a powerful warrior. She sort of got her eye on Kratos and has been watching him kind of all the time. She has a little bit of a, a future plan for him. Gaia ends up being a uh, pivotal character and she is also narrating the story of Kratos. And at the end of this whole three act adventure that players hopefully will join us on, will realize what it is about Gaia that allows her to, you know, narrate this story. Kratos was destined to bring about change so severe that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that I could not allow.